of those who hate freedom and free speech and want us not to care about Muslims or not to care about people in pain who are not their people, then we're doing their job for them. So we just don't moan. You know, we just do better. Just do a better job. But we need to do better. This book is, a, is an effort to, to get the message across about humanity and about spirituality in a better way than I've managed before. So as long as we're all improving ourselves, uh, you know, and I talk uh, in our representation or in our solidarity with other people, then we're making a difference. But to just complain, I did a bit of complaining. I complained to you early on because I was afraid. I was I was hurt and I was afraid and I was confused. And I think activists do go through that stage, and then you either give up or you sit. You get up and you go. I'm just going to do better. In terms of um, some of the figures, I noticed you have Ruby from Ruby Campbell mm. on the cover of the book. Uh, someone that uh, there's not an awful lot, 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 lot left, I think, for him. Lots of members of the community. I'm not about to actually that. raise. I want to actually raise that about Nicky Campbell because. From his perspective, he'd be very clear in saying, I'm, I'm fair, I'm honest, I'm a journalist, and I just have to ask the hard questions. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there is a problem with the, particularly places like the BBC, this idea of balance. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about it in terms of Palestine, we can talk about it in terms of, of Muslims, but I think if we drive too hard, you know, pushing people to the parameters, of, 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 our, of our debate by saying, y y you know, you're too hard on the Muslims. I was with James Whale last night and I mm. said to him, you know, many people who listen to your show think you're an Islamophobe, simple as that. And he was like, I'm really hurt by that. And I'm like, you're kidding, you're on talk radio. <laughs> Why are you hurt? Now I can say that to James because we get on. Because we refuse to be divided and be put at loggerheads and he knows he can ask. I'll tell you what, I walked into the interview last night, talk radio, and I've got this wheelie bag that I live with, basically, now I'm on tour. And the first thing he said was, hi, Lauren, I hope there's not a bomb in that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can take that because he knows me, but later on he raised, he raised the point that he thought was important. He said, why do Muslims have no sense of humor? And I said, no, you don't get to do that. Because I've lived in I've I've lived in places and worked in places where women are told, oh, I could just feel you up. Where's your sense of humour? Right back twenty years ago in journalism, uh, I've been to Tory party conferences. Believe me, they're rife with it. Where's your sense of humour? Like, whoa, come on, give us a cuddle, whatever. No, it's not funny. It's called microaggression, and that's a difference. I know you well enough that we can have that joke. But if I was, if you did that every day to me at work, that would be abuse. So know the line. So, okay, that's one example, which is a little kind of angrily forward with Nikki Campbell there. Have you had a kind of reaction that you think, okay, that's actually opened some eyes here? Because I think for a lot of us, there's like a 30 year history with Nikki Campbell where it's like, we're just fed up, right? So, no, I'm not saying on no, 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 I hear, I hear you. James Well. So I, yeah, so I think telling, telling the stories in a way, telling our story, as, as British Muslims here in this context, in a way that is, is communicated without hostility, without defensiveness, is not easy. But I think it is really, really necessary, and I think the time is now. And I was, I, when I read my book before the last edit, I thought, oh, it's so loving about Islam, it's just preachy, and I hate it, and I can't do it, and you know, and I was like, shall I change it all, shall I take this out? And they said, Lauren, calm down the first time author thing. They published it and then Nikki Campbell read it and said, I loved it and I couldn't put it down. I said, was it preachy? He said, not at all. So educating and sharing is different to preaching and I think we also can work on that with each other. It's, it's good because you have that access. I think that's what a lot of people have it in but then I think on the other side of that, don't be a, I think on the other side of that, if I'm, I'm not saying that the Muslims who speak, anybody who speaks about faith is preachy, because I think on the other side is, don't mention it at all. It's like, don't mention the war in the faulty towers. Don't, me don't mention Islam, don't mention Christianity. And yet I worked at Press TV for four years, and everyone was so careful around me that I learned next to nothing about Islam per se, and I was never invited into anybody's house. And I could have left that working environment if Allah had willed, no closer to Islam than day one. After four years working with Muslims, 
that's not right either. Mm -hmm. And I felt when I came to Islam, I'm like, why didn't you tell me I could have been Muslim before? And, you know, of course, it's, oh. it's, it's Qadr Allah at the right time. But, but reaching out and allowing people to have access to those big questions is really, really important. Uh -huh.